You ask me, I bet I want it I guess I'm a bag for me Your body looks better on me Cause they get sweating for me Won't you bag for me Won't you bag, won't you bag Watch me bag for you It's your boy Milo. It's a girl Hazel. Whoa. And what are we doing today, Shorty? We are doing an updated QA for you guys. That way. Nah, I'm saying? <laughs> we are currently on Instagram because Instagram is acting up. We trying to look at these questions, but they won't even let us look at these questions. Nah, I'm saying? I already screenshot all of mine. Well, I guess we can start with yours then, Shorty. Nah, I'm saying? How is your relationship different since you have your own place? definitely different like when you move in with your partner and have your own place your relationship is going to be a lot different y'all know i already lived with him for a year but it was in the old house in georgia and like his whole family was there so we lived with everyone it feels different now because i feel like we're actually like adults now yeah pretty much just more privacy i can walk around butt naked she can walk around butt naked <laughs> like stuff like that my mom you know what i'm saying it just feels good to have your own place in general but i don't really know like how it's changed our relationship we got more to argue about we got responsibilities oh, yeah. we think more i feel like it just changes our relationship in a sense that now we're more responsible and we're holding each other to a certain standard now you know what i mean like pretty much in that sense but i don't, I don't know it helped us in a good way though you know what i'm saying when y'all fight does either of you laugh during it or just a little <laughs> it depends on the argument there's some arguments where we'll be arguing and then she'll just laugh out of nowhere and then i'll laugh out of nowhere or it'll be an argument where I sit there like sarcastically laugh and she'll get mad at me and throw a, a slide at me or something. And then you just got those super serious arguments where if you laugh in that situation, you're kind of heartless. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every time my mom used to scream at me or my older sister used to scream at me, I would just sit there and laugh because it's funny to me. I know that's like so disrespectful to and childish. me. It's really like, I know that if someone was laughing at me when we were arguing, I would get even more mad. You know what I mean? When we have our petty arguments, I'll just laugh. I don't know why. I always laugh. And then and then I laugh and then go to hug her and she goes straight back to being mad. Like she's so weird. Do you plan on getting any more pets? So we were actually talking about that yesterday. I want to get a cat. To, we was about to go get a cat like yesterday. I really want a cat. Like I've always wanted a cat my whole life. I was never able to get one because my sisters and my mom are very highly allergic to cats. I just want a cat that does this. <laughs> I don't I want wanna, no lame, boring cat. I want to get a cat, but I'm scared that it's going to, like, scratch up Halo or something. No. And I also want to get another dog. Get yeah, I, I want to get a cat and a dog, right? I want a teacup Pomeranian. <laughs> if you were offered to become a superhero, what superpower would you choose? Hmm. Read people's minds. Why wouldn't you pick that one? I'll be invisible. I could just walk in the room while you think you're in there alone and then just hear what you got to say. If you say but you don't have to do that if you can just hear my thoughts. You can hear before I actually say it out loud. You stupid. I would want super strength. Because you're strong. If you read my mind, get mad at me, I'm going to pick you up and throw you. Like, you're not ugly. Not <laughs> not not not. How many times have you guys broken up? We actually have never broken up. In the beginning, there were times where she was like, maybe we should wait. Maybe we should take a break. Yeah. But I was like, no. Are that you was in the beginning. Like, of course, in the beginning of, of any relationship, sometimes you have those doubts, but we never actually acted on it. Yeah, that's when we were long distance, though. Uh, what are your three biggest pet peeves about each other? What? You sound like you're about to answer that super quick. <laughs> nah, go ahead. You go. You, you answer. answer. No, answer. no, I need to know what you're about to say. One pet peeve is when she yells at me. <laughs> biggest, biggest, biggest pet peeve is this right here. She don't really do it, but when she does do do it and does it, <laughs> it pet peeves me. She be like... I never do that. Why would you even say that? She does it purposely to make me mad sometimes and it irritates me. And that's a pet peeve. You know what I'm saying? When she yells at me, purposely smacks to make me mad. Three, I love this trait about you, but sometimes it pisses me off. When you overthink, put so much into something so little. Like, for example, how sometimes it'll take you like three hours to get ready just to run to Walmart. Every, like, she just, oh my God. She be like, no, have to do this, 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 this. Like, she is just... That's just how I am. Like, I, I like to plan every little thing. I like to is, know 
every detail of what's happening, what's going on, who's gonna be there, what time we gotta be there, how many times I have to, how many hours in advance I have to prepare for something. I just think of every little detail. See me, I'm the type of dude I like to live on a go. Like you can hit me up like, yo, this is the plan. This is who to who. I just need an hour and I'm. She gotta know like a whole week in advance, boy, boy, boy. You so yeah, I just like overthink every little thing. So I'm yeah. sorry, that's who I am. You know, you know how it was when you signed up for this. So don't act brand new. What a contract. Hmm. One of my puppies about him is. Let me see. Is that? One of my pet peeves about him is when he's biting his stupid nails. Stop. Oh. I hate that so much. My second one is something that I love about you, but sometimes you just overdo it to the point where it irritates me. When he has his mind set on something, he is going to get it done no matter what time it is, no matter where he is, no matter oh, what he has to do next. It could be at 3 o'clock in the morning and I can beg him to come to sleep with me, but if he's in the studio working on something and he wants to get it done, he's going to get it done. Like, he don't care about coming downstairs sleeping with me. Like, if he has his mindset on something, he's going to get it done. Like, no matter what. Lying like No lie. matter what. So, that's one thing I hate but love at the same time about you, you know what I mean? Then the third thing is, hmm, is sometimes... When I ask him to do something, oh. he does not do it when I ask him. Oh on the spot. If I ask you to do something for me, take out the garbage, I want it done right then and there. You know what I mean? Damn. And I have to ask him like five times throughout the whole day. Be like, babe, come take it out, come take it out. And he's like, oh yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. And it's like I have to ask you a thousand times. You can't even count to a thousand. What were your parents' reaction when you told them about Milo and vice versa? My parents' reaction is when I told them about Milo. I feel like they were just kind of thrown off guard. I never really talked about him to anybody except to my sister. She knew everything. Like, she was there from the very first message I ever sent to him. Like, she was there throughout the whole thing. The first time they, like, heard about you, they're like, oh, okay, like, she's talking to a boy, whatever, that's cute, you know what I mean? But I didn't think, like, they thought it would turn into something like this. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't think they thought it would become something serious, especially since you lived so far away. Uh -huh. But when you actually came and visited me, they actually seen you for the first time, and, like, they didn't really know anything about you because I never told them, they were happy for me. When you first start talking to somebody, you don't really talk to your parents about them. Unless that's you're close with them. Yeah, that's something you usually, like, share with your friend, your yeah. brother. You're just someone that you talk to. And your parents pretty much get introduced when you introduce them to your parents, like in person. Yeah, unless you're close to your parents, yeah, then so they like, know about every little detail. Like Dom knew all about you from the first day yeah. we started talking. I never like, hey mom, look, I got a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. But when you first told her like we were starting to get serious, what was her reaction? That's the thing. I never told her like. I, mean, I was never like, mom, this is my girlfriend. You know what I mean? You never like, said that. No, nah, like she just figured. Like she just like. Assumed we were already like Yeah, she knew of you I never like kept her in the loop and talked mm -hmm. to her about you Her first time really seeing or like hearing anything about you was when we came mm -hmm. to Chicago You yeah. know what I mean? So same it's, thing It's pretty much the exact same thing, but Dom knew all about you If a genie granted you three wishes right now, what would you wish for? My family to move to Florida I like that All of us, me, your family, my family to always be happy And I wouldn't want I would wish for unlimited money forever. <laughs> <laughs> unlimited money? Yes. I wish to have a BMW. I, I don't know. I can't, I can't really wish for anything because I already have everything I would ever wish for. <laughs> You're so ugly. Don't look at me like that. I would say pretty much the same wishes. As, but instead of the always happy, I would want a BMW. I, oh my God. Why did you have to be the one to move in with Milo? Why couldn't he move to Chicago? I wouldn't want him to be in Chicago. Like, I actually used to get really scared when he would come visit me. The area I lived in was not that great. And I just wouldn't want him in that environment. Like, I didn't even want to be there myself. So I was, like, happy to go wherever he wanted to go. Honestly, like, been wanting to get out of Chicago for a really long time. Well, I was going to school and working. But he, like, has stuff going on with his music. I feel like it would be selfish of me to ask him to come follow me somewhere when that's he was in atlanta for that purpose you know what i mean like i wasn't gonna like make him drop everything he was doing to come move in with me you know what i mean not so, even that not even that was even, just a lot of different things 
Not even that, even if I wanted to, I wouldn't have been able to. I was in a contract. Yeah. What is the nastiest thing you and Hazel has ever done? I licked her booty all out. <laughs> Usually, I feel like you are the one to go to sleep earlier. Just because I wake up earlier. Yeah. Like, every single morning. He's an early bird. He likes waking up early. But me, I'm such a night owl. Is Hazel going to be on your song, Big? I don't know. Ask her. Is you? No. Look, I'm waiting just as much as you are. All I really heard from that song is exactly what y'all heard. I, I can't wait to hear the song my damn self. So, uh... How do you guys keep your relationship fun and not boring? Just being kids, doing kids stuff. If you just being be goofy. yourself, just be your 100% authentic, true self, like you're always gonna have fun. Cause you're not worried about like, oh my God, do I look cute right now? Oh my God. I feel like we're always having fun together cause we are like such big kids. As y'all can see, I am very weird. <laughs> like I do the dumbest stuff and it's literally, that's just, that's just who I am. And I wish y'all could see that side of her too. She is the exact same way. She is <laughs> honestly just as bad as me, if not worse. Um, I feel like she just has more of a wall up with y'all. She don't want to show y'all that side of her, like, 100%. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that's what keeps our relationship young. That's yeah, I feel like our relationship will never be boring just because of who we are. What's the silliest thing y'all have argued about? Like, the silliest, dumbest thing we've ever argued about. We talked about this before. We argue because I didn't want a hot dog. We literally argued because I didn't want a freaking hot dog. We got into a big fight. Like, I walked in the studio and, like, we didn't talk for, like, a few hours. Just we literally I ignored each other for, like, four hours. Just because I didn't want a hot dog. Y'all, because, no, because earlier he said he wanted hot dogs, right? So then I went downstairs and made them for him, and I bring them back up, and he said, no, I don't want them. Like, you really made me go out no. of my way to go make them for you. I told her, I told her before she even made them that I didn't want any right now. She was like, well, I'm making them anyway, and you're going to eat Because you didn't eat anything all day, so, and I was not going to let you starve. I didn't want a hot dog. So, he just let me go out of my way, you guys, to make him some food, and he didn't you, even eat it. Technically, you didn't, because you still ate a hot dog. I just didn't want a hot dog right then. That was so rude to me. But yeah, we that was like, <laughs> we argue about such dumb things sometimes. If we sat and told y'all to half of the stuff we argue about, like, you would look at us like, oh my gosh, shut up, bro. But that you was guys like, need to grow up. Would you rather eat caca that tastes like candy or candy that tastes like caca? Look, <laughs> I would rather eat Ew, that's gross. the candy that tastes like caca for the simple <laughs> fact that at least I'm eating something that's not coming out of my body. Okay, yeah, it tastes like candy, but does that take away from the fact that you're still eating something that you ate earlier that went through your stomach and through your intestine and mm -hmm. out your anus? Just the thought of that don't sit well with me, yeah. so I would rather eat candy that at least it's supposed to taste like that and it didn't come out my body. I'd rather eat candy that tastes like poop. But this is the question, if you eat that candy that tastes like caca, when you caca out that candy, will your caca still be sweet? So ain't, ain't you technically, <laughs> Babe, what's so it's like, it's like vice versa. So it's like, if you eat the candy that tastes like shit, but you shit out. Okay, next know. question. Next question. What's your favorite song at the moment? My favorite song is my song that I'm getting ready to drop soon. It's called Same Way, so keep it, keep an ear out for it. I'm on. I thought you were different, I guess I was wrong. Those nights when you laid in my arms, you lied to my face when you said that you loved me. Thought I was what are you guys' favorite thing to do? Cuddle and watch TV. Like nothing beats that. What about activity though? Like if it's an activity. Movies. <laughs> what other names did your parents think of naming y'all? By the way, I love you. We love you too. Um, my mom actually told me she was thinking of naming me Brittany. Remember, I, I don't remember if she said like Marcus. Marcus or um like Trevor or something. Oh my, are you serious? I don't remember. I don't Call remember. Call her. I wanna know. I feel like Marcus. I feel like Hey mom, I got a question. We're shooting a Q and A video right now. One of the questions were um asking if our parents ever thought about naming us anything different. Have you ever like what was like all the name options? The first name I was gonna name you was Marquise Cortez. I knew it was something <laughs> like that. Bro. I said Marcus, Marquise, Marquise Cortez. I was gonna name you Marquise Cortez. I could pass as a Marquise though, right? Yeah, you it actually. I could pass as a Marquise. It was Marquise. Marquis Cortez, or I was gonna name you 
don't know. Jermaine Anthony. What the hell? What the? Oh, Tremaine. Like um, Tremaine. like like um, yeah. Trey Songz. Yeah. Tremaine Anthony. I, I I look like a Tremaine. I could be a Tremaine. Hey, what up, Trey? What up, oh my God. I'm on my own. I'm down for that. My real name isn't Milo. It's like Jaquan. I think that's real. <laughs> it's Jaquan. You think that's your real name? But no, Milo. Milo is just my my nickname. I like those names though, actually. I actually like them. But too. I like Marquis better. Then Marquis. You ask me, I bet I want it. I guess I'm a bad for me. Your body looks better on me. Cause they get sweating for me. Won't you beg for me? Won't you beg? Won't you beg? Watch me beg for you. I'm a beg.